Here I'll be introducing you to some handy Photoshop actions that can be found in the freebie section on howdigitalpaint.com. So just in the freebie section at the top, and then go into the Photoshop actions, you'll be able to find this set. And the set is Perspective. It's a set, as the name implies, built to make uh, the perspective workflow quicker. So we'll first look at the cone of vision action. So this action creates a cone of vision in a new document contained in a group that we can drag into our illustration document. So it has all the components of the cone of vision and you can resize it to your liking. And it is suggested you work on a larger document size, even larger than the illustration, in order to have space to create your perspective grid. So just showing a quick example of how it can be used. Where one line of the edge of the square lines up will be one vanishing point, and the other intersection with the horizon line will be the second vanishing point. And then we can rotate that square, moving the star down to the station point in order for it to have the right pivot. And then we can add our third and fourth vanishing points. The second action is the measure bar. So that can be dragged in. And we have a measure bar which we can use in order to create an evenly spaced perspective grid. So just using the pen tool, we, after placing our first uh, base point, and then using the stroke path preparation action, which will create a pencil. So it'll set it to th three pixels. You can set it down smaller to maybe one pixel, depending on your document size. And you may want to change the color. The default color I've set it to is red. So we can use our pen tool. And then with the direct se selection arrow, we can move the stroke that we've made. And using F12, which is the key that I've set for stroke path, we can then create our perspective grid. So when using the path selection tool, you want to make sure that you have the white arrow selected. There is a difference since the black arrow will select the entire path, the white arrow will just select the endpoint. So that allows us to maneuver it. Once you've created one of the perspective uh, line sets, you can duplicate that grid and even duplicate it vertically. So then we can just create a simple cube, but of course you can use this to set up your more complex objects within the space.